Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Unbroken Bonds video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a dirty little Spirit Tomb expanded deck that I have built here um, on PDCGO. This deck basically just wants to take down some big threats, stuff like Night March, Zoark, and even Pikaram. Um, and this is a really cool anti-meta deck. So basically, you have a few different attackers. Your main one is going to be Spirit Tomb. Obviously, Spirit Tomb has an ability bonus fight. But the main thing we're going to be comboing Spirit Tomb with is going to be a Team Magma Secret Base and, I guess, Frozen City. But mainly Magma's Base. So when you play Magma's Base and slap down a Spirit Tomb, you get 20 damage on it for free, which is obviously going to build up for Spirit Tomb's attack. And then you have its ability bonus fight. And we have a few other partners in the deck to kind of help us out in certain matchups like Haunch Crow, which could be deadly. We have Buzzwolves and we have Marshadows for those... Uh, matchups where they're going to hit for weakness and we have Buzzmosa. So this is a bit of an anti-meta deck. It's actually a really fun deck too and it is one of my favorite expanded decks to play right now. So before we get into this piece of video guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor Kirk Kevin TCG. As always guys, if you're ever looking to get your hands on PDCGO codes, if you're trying to get PDCGO on Broken Bonds pack codes, team up codes, also storm codes, or you're trying to get like trainer kit codes, you're trying to get your hands on like the Jirachi from the trainer kits or the Zapdos from trainer kits, um, or you're trying to get elite trainer box codes, stuff like that. Get over over at Card Cover TCG. You can also get uh, Pokemon GX box codes, like Pikaram deck box codes, um, or like Kangaskhan box codes, stuff like that. Get them over at Card Cover TCG. If you do end up getting something from Card Cover TCG, guys, of course, use code LDF at the checkout and get a 5% discount on your purchase. So yeah, if you're ever looking to get PDCGO codes, guys, get them over at Card Cover TCG. You can get other Pokemon TCG stuff and use code LDF at the checkout to get a discount on your purchase. So yeah, let's look into the list here. So... It's a really interesting deck. You have different attackers for different scenarios. Uh, so your main one is obviously Spirit Tomb. Anguish Cry doing Temple Story More Damage Freeze Damage Counter on this Pokemon. So if you have a total of 5 damage counts on Spirit Tomb, this thing is going to be hitting really hard. You can do 160. And if you slap a Hustle Belt on your Spirit Tomb, which you can do, Hustle Belt, if this is attached to a Pokemon that has 30 or less HP and has any damage counters on it, that Pokemon's attacks are doing 60 more damage. So idea is then Spirit Tomb slaps on the Hustle Belt, and then Anguish Cry is going to be hitting for 220 damage, which is enough to take out big threats like Zoark. And uh, this is going to be too shot a lot of tough stuff too, like Tag Teams. It's only given up on prize. We have Black Market Prism Star to make it even harder for the opponent. So Spirit Tomb is really good, and we're obviously going to help power this thing's attacks up through Magma Secret Base. When you play a Pokemon, or when either player plays a base Pokemon from their hand onto their bench, except for Team Magma Pokemon, which we don't play, that Pokemon's going to take 20 damage. So then Spirit Tomb gets an extra 20 damage, which is an extra 60 damage for Anguish Cry. So here are the partners I've decided to partner with. So the first one is going to be our fighting types. Uh, we are playing Rainbow Energy, so we can play a Buzzwool here for Sledgehammer. Rainbow Energy is obviously really good to power up Spirit Tomb, but then we can use it with Sledgehammer uh, to help us out against Pikaram. Zoark, Greninja Zoark is another big one that's seen a lot of play right now in Expanded. Marsh Shadow is really good. You can use Marsh Shadow with Team Magma Secret Base or Frozen City Rainbow Energy, and then we can use Shadow Hunt to copy uh, Anguish Cry. We can also use this thing to like copy, like I don't know, say Jet Punch or something from the discard pile. And again, this will help in those non-G and uh, those matchups where Spirit Tomb comes in handy. The other kind of backup Pokemon is going to be Haunch Crow. Now Haunch Crow is really good and expanded. And I don't really know what to combo Haunch Crow with and expanded. Um, for a Haunch Crow video. So I've just slapped it in this deck and it actually turns out to be really good. Um, just helps against Night March and against Zoark. Any deck that plays Special Energy, you want to have the Haunch Crow in play. And we can use Rule of the Night, preventing them from playing Stadiums or Basic Energies. And I really do like having that 2-1 Haunch Crow line in here. And we also have Unfair. We are playing two copies of Let Loose because we're always trying to like let loose the opponent's hand down really low. Um, because Let Loose goes really well level ball. So we're actually going to be, you know, Let Loose, Unfair, comboing the opponent. Uh, which is really good unfair to your opponent reveals their hand and discard two cards so if you let loose them to four and then unfair away two good cards in their hand they're sometimes just stuck with nothing and then you kind of just win the game from there basically so the other two cards are going to be kartana we can use slice off to help us out with um, rule of the night we can also use blade gx and we also have a buzz Mosa in the deck mainly here for that beast game attack in the late game to just take an easy two prizes and win the game or if spirit tomb hits something for 220 damage and they don't get knocked out we can sweep them up with Beast Game and knock them out and sometimes take a lot of prizes against Tag Team GX Pokemon. So that's why the one Buzz Mosa is in the deck. So that's it for the Pokemon. Um, the only other techs I can think of are stuff like Mew or Mr. Mime to help your bench. That's basically about it. Going into the items and stuff now. A lot of really interesting stuff to work with. Computer Search is really good. I played two Damage Movers just as like a little bit of a tech card. But Damage Mover can sometimes heal your Pokemon. You can also use Damage Mover to like combo with a Marshadow and just out of nowhere take out a Pikaram or something. 
Um, you can also like heal your Pokemon if Honchkrow does take damage because you have Frozen City or Magnus Base in play and you have to build it up to attack. You can damage move that damage off. Pretty much is why that's there. You can also sometimes heal Buzzmosa, which could be hilarious. One Enhanced Hammer for the Honchkrow. Two Field Blowers to basically get rid of Garbotoxin, which can really hurt this deck. Three Level Balls, amazing card. Gets you your Spirit Tombs, your Murkrows, gets you your Mars Shadows. Uh, we got one Stretcher for a Pokemon. Four Carbs Vulture Ball, four Via Seekers. We do play a lot of stadiums. As you can see, we got five stadiums. And that's really nice because that means Black Market sticks a lot easier. We got three Magma's Teaker Base. Obviously, the most important card is Magnus Base for Spirit Tomb. We can also use Frozen City with Spirit Tomb, though, and attach a Rainbow Energy, which puts an extra three damage on Spirit Tomb. And we are also going to be playing Black Market Prism Star, because if they knock out Spirit Tomb and, or Honch Crow the Dark Energy on it, they're sometimes not going to be taking many prizes. Here are our supporters one Cynthia, three Ends, three Junipers, two Guzmas, one Teammates, no Chorus. We don't really have a big bench. We don't play that many Pokemon. Uh, teammates is really important in here. Uh, because Spirit Tomb will always get knocked out. Rare. Most of the time, it's only have like 20 HP left, so it's like you can touch it, knock it out. So teammates is really good. Um, to be fair, we don't really need three ends. It might be better to go like two Cynthia's because sometimes you don't want to end and then let loose some. You know what I mean? But sometimes you can end and then do let loose. That's kind of why the end is good. It's just good to have because you have a lot of weak Pokemon. Your opponent can take a lot of prizes. It's very likely your opponent can take out two prizes in one turn if they're playing Jet Punch or something. So like having the end is good to like lower their hand size and just keep trying to disrupt them. That's like a lot of the idea of the deck is disruption. One, uh, we got one float. We are playing three copies of Hustle Belt, allowing you to do the extra 60 damage with your Spirit Tomb. Very important. Uh, there's no Choice Band. There's no, like, Muscle Band. No Fighting Fury Belt. Well, Fighting Fury Belt could be kind of cool with Spirit Tomb. It does mean that Anguish Cry can max out at more damage. But we're just going to be relying on Hustle Belt to attack. Uh, I am playing one Blend Energy. It could work with Buzzmosa and Spirit Tomb. Got four Rainbow Energies. Uh, three Dark Energies. And two DCs for basically our Haunch Crow and even Kartana like Guardian could be popular and expanded so you can just like you know Gale Blade them but yeah that is it for the uh list here and uh I'll show you guys why this deck is fun to play all right guys here we go let's go do some games now with some expanded spirit tomb I'm excited to show off this deck let's we'll see what we're up against here first a dark side okay it looks like it's Greninja Greninja Zoark um that's a pretty popular deck right now in Expanded. Honestly, playing fighting is so good in Expanded right now because of Greninja Zoark, because of Zoark and Pika Rom itself. So there's a lot. And we are going to start with our fighting type, Buzzwool. Unfortunately, our hand is not the greatest. We do have a level ball that can get us either a Mars Shadow, a Murkrow, or a Spirit Tomb. We'll see what kind of deck this is. Oh, Balloons, Flare Grunt, and Parallel City. All cards I don't really like seeing, especially those uh, Parallels and Balloons and Flare Grunt. Alright, we'll see what kind of deck this is. Draw an extra card. There's Honchkrow. A Bunnelby. Ooh, this could be a mill deck? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. If we can get a Rainbow Energy here, we can just knock him out with Sledgehammer. So hopefully we can do that, especially if my opponent doesn't bench anything here. No, they're going to Sycamore. Megaphone Hammer Center Lady. Oh my gosh, what the? Especially those Center Ladies. What on earth? <laughs> this is going to be a weird match. If I could draw a Magma's Base here or a Frozen City, I think I'd just go for the Spirit Tomb. And just knock him out. Because we have Float, which is good. We could just Float, touch, touch the Dark Energy, knock him out. We don't really need Honchkrow, so Honchkrow. Kind of can go. We're not really gonna need Murkrow or Honchkrow here. All right, what are we gonna draw? Spirit Tomb. Okay, well we can play him down at the very least. Might have to go Marsh Shadow here. Get 10 damage on. So currently we're only doing 40, so we're gonna be short on the knockout. Unless I can find a Rainbow Energy. So we'll play Float. We'll level Ball. I am gonna go for the Marsh Shadow. Try and give myself a better hand here. Maybe limit my opponent's hand a little bit. If I can get a Rainbow Energy, I can knock him out in Anguish Cry. Which we did find one. We got an N2. Probably best to hold it, though. We'll see if the uh, energy sticks, and we'll just knock him out. Yeah, we can hold the N. We don't need to play it. We can also just keep racking damage on Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb can probably carry us through this game. I don't really know what to expect here on my opponent's side of the board. They can Junk Hunt, get back Enhanced Hammer. We did march out of them to four, so we gotta hope those four cards just did not give them many good things to work with. 
We'll see, though. Let loose. Come on. Be busted. Be busted. Give them a bad hand. Give them a bad hand. They got an Ultra Ball. Are they playing Tapu Lele, though, is the question. Super Raw Head Ringer. Okay, I think my opponent's playing some, like, old school black and white era deck that he just never bothered to update. Alright, did I give them anything? I did get... Okay, they got a Zerosic, but that's not really helping. And a Megaphone. Alright, well, now their hand's empty. We can attach Dark Energy and knock him out. So, yeah, we're pretty much in cruise control right now. Alright, not bad. Magma's base is pretty good. Attach Hustle Belt, and we will uh, knock him out for 160 damage. So, yeah, my opponent, at this point, can't really do much. But yeah, Spirit Tomb, man. I love it in Expanded. Spirit Tomb in Expanded is good. It is good. We also got Bosmosa, which we can use to, like, beast game the Sableye. Maybe I should have played this down, because... Ooh, he drew an energy. He's going to confuse Raimi. Does it get heads? Okay, good. That's game. That is game. 190 damage for the knockout. Not much really happened in this game on my opponent's side of the board, but that is what Let Loose does. That's why I do play two Marsh Shadows, because if you can set up a good amount of Spirit Tombs, and you can Let Loose the opponent, um, obviously Let Loose goes really well with Haunch Crow too, obviously, but if you're able to do that, I mean, your opponent can just come, sometimes just kind of succumb to Spirit Tomb. That's why I like the Let Loose. That's why I am playing a two in the deck, because they come in handy. I was thinking, if my opponent draw anything there, I could have played the Magma's base down. If they play a Bunnel B or a Sableye down, they'll take 20 damage. They'll have 50 HP left, and then I can just come in with a Beast game later on and knock them out. Which could have been pretty good. So we'll see now what we are going to run into. Hopefully we play against something a little more competitive. That would be great. Alright, Grass Fighting. Okay, this looks like it might be a Night March deck. With maybe a Vespa Quinn. We don't play Oracorio. That's fine, though. We have... A lot of good answers to my opponent. We have Haunch Crow, um, Buzzmosa also could be big, especially Beast Game on those. Oh, he just immediately concedes the game. Oh, can't even see what he was playing. I'm pretty sure that was going to be a Night March Vespa Quinn deck. Like, I'm almost like 200% sure he was playing Night March Vespa Quinn. So, I guess that game is done now. Well, good to see. Well, uh, Keep finding matches here until we can get a longer game. That's expanded, man. Sometimes games just go really quick. Sometimes they go short. All right, Pikaram, Pikaram. All right, now I think Pikaram is a good matchup, depending on how we start. Going second is not amazing, but if we can attack with a turn one Spirit Tomb. This could be good. We obviously can't use Haunch Crow in this matchup at all. Speaking of which. I think we start with the Murkrow. I'm not going to evolve into Honchkrow, but I don't want to start with either Buzzmosa, Kartana, or Spiritomb. Especially not the uh, Buzzmosa, so we'll see what he's playing. Ooh, this looks like it might be a Zapdos deck. Um, it doesn't look like they're even playing a standard Zapdos build, though. Which is interesting. From the looks of it, they are playing a standard build, and they're not playing an expanded build. There's a level ball. We can let loose them. No, no, it is a uh, Pikaram deck. Okay, you know what? Because I drew Rainbow, I'm just going to play this guy down now. We're, we're just going to get him ready to go. I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Kartana and the teammates. Don't really know what I need here. I just wanted to thin the deck out. And we'll end them. Try and maybe get a let loose off or something. There's let loose. We got... Got computer search. That can get us a magma secret base. We'll get rid of blower and ultra ball. The blower is really tough because I didn't really want to lose that, but can't really turn down the magma secret base. Get another spirit tomb down. Ooh, looks like we prized a few. That's fine. We do have Mars Shadow. We have Buzzwool, so it's fine. We'll drop a little loose. I could have held the hand, too, because I had Juniper. Okay, we got Via Seeker. Not bad. And we'll just pass. And now we sit and see if Let Loose did anything. 
Let loose is a success. All right, I guess I could have moved. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. We're obviously not going to get a knockout here, but we are going to put a lot of pressure on him. Basically say, hey, you need to have a Pokemon or a win. <laughs> Let loose, guys. It's not going anywhere and expanded unless they ban it. Ooh, my opponent drew an Ultra Ball. And it's a Secret Rare Ultra Ball, so my opponent's got the bling. Then they're playing Ace Roll. Well, um, good thing we got the damage on this thing while well, we did. Nice thing, too. They don't get a counter stadium. They're going to have to take 20 damage. Ooh! They're going to let loose me. No Dedene or no Tapu Lele, though. That's kind of interesting, but we'll see what they do with let loose. See if I actually get a bad hand here. Still have most of my supporters. It might be a Seeker, so I'm hoping not. Plus, we have another let loose at our disposal. Yeah, we're good. We got Mars Shadow, which is pretty hype. Yep, they have to play Lele. So they got to take that nice 20 damage, which is good. The Mars Shadow having 20 on it means that we can Beast Game knock it out to try and win the game at some point. They do get a Cynthia. So my opponent needs to find quite a few cards to get a knockout. Off of a six card Cynthia, I don't know if it's looking likely. I'm actually more surprised they went with Marshadow and not Lele there instead of that. Right, they're gonna play Coco, Drachi, good card to see too. That's another beast game target. Ooh, they're gonna rope me. Let's bring in the other spirit tomb. I'm looking for float because I do want to play float on my Marshadow at some point to knock out that Pika Rom, especially if my opponent does end up base rolling it. They're gonna get a Lily. Do they have a counter stadium? Nope. So I'm not going to play down the Mars Shadow quite yet. For obvious reasons. Well, actually, it's probably best to save that Rainbow Energy for the Mars Shadow. All right, let's keep doing some good old building spites. Keep building my spite here. I'm actually going to save the teammates because that'll let me go in with a Mars Shadow, especially if the Magma's base sticks because I can teammates for float and stuff. Make it look like I have a bad hand. We'll take our knockout. We've got Honchcrow. We don't really need Honchcrow because it doesn't do much in a matchup like this where we are weak to lightning. But you know what? It's nice to have anyways. I mean, if we do knock out Pika Rama, we can lock them out of the Thunder Mountains and stuff. Maybe there's some fairness to that. Okay, so they will get the knockout here. There's a Lily for four. They need to heal their Pika Rom too. All right, they're gonna nest ball. Yep, for another Pika Rom, I consider that. So they're most likely gonna full blitz knock me out, and they're gonna build up their other Pika Rom on the bench, meaning they are getting ready for tag bolt. But again, we do have that Mars Shadow play available to us. I'm not really worried actually, because we can just knock out that Mars Shadow with Beast Game and win. So actually, we don't really lose here. Plus, we're only gonna get one prize. I think we still win this game. There's Black Market. We'll uh, slap that into play. Not Magma's base, but it does counter his stadium. We'll be a secret for teammates. So here's the thing I want to do. I want to get ready for the Buzzmosa play. So I can just get a Guzma. And it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to knock out that Mars Shadow. Take three prizes. Or take two prizes. And win the game. So I should probably be ready for next turn. What else would I want? Guzma and... I don't know, Via Seeker? I don't really know what to get there. Might as well building Spite. Does not matter. If my opponent doesn't, you know, get the prize, that's good. I am worried they're going to end me to three, though. That's the only problem. I am worried about an end of three. Alright, we're going to get our three prizes. There's a Via Seeker. Alright, so now we're not as worried about end of three now. There's another Spirit Tomb. And our other Spirit Tomb. Okay, so we'll see if they do end me to two here. Not three, my bad. If they don't end me here, then we can just knock out the Marsh out and win. Or they're going to Guzma me. They might uh, try and Guzma the Murkrow and Marsh Shadow to knock them out. Because Spirit Tomb can't one-shot. But it, again, it doesn't matter. We have Buzzmos. We have Marsh Shadow, which we could just teammates for Magma's base. Attach Rainbow Energy, Marsh Shadow, knock them out with Anguish Cry. Ooh, via Seeker. It's gonna get him a Cynthia. That's not an end to two. Alright, it looks like they're going for Cynthia. Alright, nice. Unless they do another Mars Shadow, which could happen. They might be playing Mars Shadow. Uh, but they don't Mars Shadow me. We win. No, no, just a tag bolt. That is game. 
and that is game. So yeah, I'm liking this deck quite a bit. I'm liking this deck quite a bit. They didn't even get the prize for knocking out the Mars Shadow, which is pretty good. Man, yeah, I am enjoying this deck. Boom! Spirit Tomb and boys. Beaten Picarom, which I would say is like a I'd say it's favored for you. You have Mars Shadow, you have Sledgehammer. Stuff like that could be really good. Spirit Tomb can do a truckload of damage to the Picarom. It can two shot it. So I definitely say the Picarom is more favored. Um, obviously, if you end up starting with Murkrow, and if you're never ever gonna put the Honchkrow in play, obviously, but like you never use the Honchkrow in that matchup. But yeah, I would definitely say that's a favored matchup for you. And uh, we saw Let Loose kind of bias the turn there, which was pretty good. So yeah, that was that. That's showing off the Spirit Tomb deck against Pigaron, one of the best decks in the expanded format probably right now. So that was pretty good. And I'll see you guys in another match with our EXP Busted Tomb deck, as I like to call it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go do another game with our little Spirit Tomb deck here and see what we are up against. Ooh, a Fire deck. All right, this could be a Reshizar deck, which it probably will be. And uh, if it is, that's fine, because I think this deck can beat Reshizard. Depending on how we do. We don't want to start with Buzzmosa or Kartana. Because they're pretty much going to get knocked out. We'll see if we do. Oh, we almost did. We did start with Spirit Tomb. We have the Magma's base. I can start with the Buzzmosa. But obviously, I don't want to have this thing in play. So we're going to avoid the Buzzmosa at all costs. We can start with our Spirit Tomb. We aren't going to be able to get to use Magma's base, unfortunately. That is the price you got to pay sometimes see what we're yep it is a rushy start deck all right we do a level ball that can get us a another spirit tomb here and it's gonna be hard to one shot this thing it's almost impossible to be honest with you but what we can try to do is take this thing out through um just two shot and we can we do a big amount of damage to the rushy zard so take team matchups are good to see we got a level ball so we can try and brick him with a Mars Shadow here, he might be playing a Greens build, and that's why I want to do it. Um, we'll try it. I don't know. I, I kind of don't feel like doing this. I feel like I just want to be consistent at all times, but if we can brick him and give him a bad hand, it will be really good. If he's playing the Greens build, that's like what I'm hoping for. Alright, we got N. We're golden. We do have N. We'll just pass. And we'll see if uh, Mars Shadow's let loose worked or not. I mean, if it did... You know, it didn't matter because we had the anime anyways, but still. Mm, no, there's an Ultra Ball. B-String. Oh, he's playing a Blacephalon deck, I guess? I don't know. Might be a Baby Blounds deck because of that B-String. We'll see, though. B Baby Blacephalon Expanded might be interesting. What? A Flareon? Okay, I actually have no idea what he's playing then. Well, good thing is that Eevee's going to take 20 damage, which means Flareon's going to take damage. Alright, yeah, we bricked him. Unfortunately, though, we might have to end him here again. Because we didn't find any energy to attack him. So, he'll do... How much is he doing? He'll do 30. Okay. We'll do another building spite. We'd have to find a dark energy, not a rainbow to attack then. I'm going to ultra ball away frozen city and end. I'm going to get another spirit tomb down. I go for another Mars Shadow, but there's no point. Like, I don't want to end him. Obviously, we don't want to give him a new hand. So I'm just going to Building Spite and pass. Don't want to give him a new hand, because if we bricked him, it's really good. He's got two cards in his hand. And before he drew a Professor Juniper. Or a Sycamore. But yeah, it looks like we're chilling. So yeah, these Mars Shadow bricks are really fun to do. Yeah, he just concedes. Look at that. Boom. We made a Reshi Ram Charizard deck concede. Because of Let Loose. That's busted. That is busted. I probably would have ended him there if he didn't concede. Well, it depends on what I drew. If I didn't draw very well, I probably would have went for end just to try and help me out a bit. Alright, we'll get another game. Alright, we might be up against Zoark now. And it looks like it is because he's got a Zoark coin. So Zoark, I would say, is probably a favored matchup. Unless he's playing a Garboder build. But even then, it's fine. Like... Spirit Tomb can do 220, which is magical. We have Haunch Crow, which can pre completely prevent him from attacking half the time. And we have Mars Shadow and Sledgehammer. Like, Zoark is pretty much a matchup we want to be seeing. It just depends on how it goes. But I would definitely say Zoark is really good. This is probably our best matchup. 
We'll see if he's playing Garboder, though. That's the only thing that kind of sets me back, is potentially Garboder. Alright, we got a Murkrow start. I like to see it. Um, I might hold the hand, because I'm not going to enhance... I don't want to enhance Tamer. I don't want to waste it. We're going to need it here. Yeah, it's a Zoark deck. Alright, we can do this. Slap down Building Spite. We're most likely not going to get knocked out here, so we can play down this. We can pass. I'm going to hold the E hammer, because if he attaches the DC here, we can get rid of that. So we don't get to let loose him. He might let loose me. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is my opponent might be playing Garboder. Not only will he have Garbotoxin to shut down my Haunch Crow, but he'll also have um, Trashalant, which can potentially attack my Haunch Crow. Okay, nice. That's why I held the hand. He might just concede again, to be honest with you. Ooh, the Buzzmosa draw. That could be good to take out this guy, but whatever. I guess I didn't need to play the Frozen City down. Whatever. Okay, we didn't get the Haunch Crow. That's fine. We can do this. Get rid of two ends. Get the Haunch Crow. Yeah, we didn't get the DC, though, to attack. That's fine, though. He's blocked out of plain energy. We could just do this. And pass. Yeah, he can't play stadiums. He can't play special energy. I could have went for an unfair. Um, but I didn't want to because I might need beast game for these eggs. And also, there's no point. I don't want to attach an energy and then take have control take 40 damage. Especially if he's playing Garboder. It doesn't look like he is. Um, he might not have any basic energy. He might be playing a triple energy build. I don't know. Uh, we'll take the other Murkrow. Just so that we can stretch her back Haunch Crow at some point. I don't want to bench too many Pokemon, obviously. Do we get DCE? No, we did not. We did, however. Get a let loose. How many DCs do we have? We got both of them in the deck. Let's see if we can find the DC here. If we can just get an energy. We can probably just go for a uh, unfair. Okay, now we got the DC, though, which is pretty hype. You know what? Screw it. Let's just unfair GX him. Yep, that Shaman's gone, and so is that uh, Guzma. Special charge wouldn't be bad. Ace Rolla, we don't really need to get rid of, so we'll just get rid of the Guzma and the Shaman. If he draws... He could draw an Ultra Ball, get a Mazork. Yeah, I didn't draw anything. Alright, well, we have complete control of the game now. Um, yeah, Featherstorm. We'll just keep taking knockouts now. We have Stretcher in our hand, so once he knocks me out, we got another Haunch Crow coming... I should damage mover that off, but again, it doesn't look like he's going to be doing much here because he can't play any special energy, so haha, ha, the joke's on you. Ooh, he's going to red card me. That's not going to give him a new hand, though. That's only going to disrupt my hand. I don't really care about that. We got an energy for Murkrow. He did find a Bridget. Getting Kartana is good, if he somehow gets an energy on. He's going to get a Ranguru. Again, though, he can't play special energy, so I don't really care. Alright, we can actually uh, nest ball here for another Marshadow at some point. I think we just Feather Storm. Just keep taking knockouts here. Keep cake taking out Azorua's. We're just chilling. Okay, we got Via Seeker. We can get Cynthia next turn. We'll hold the hand, though. If he plays a Skyfield, another parallel down. We can just slap that. Play down the Magma's base. Yeah, he's just passing. Yippers, we are basically in control of the game at this point. We're just going to burn that. We're just going to Feather Storm. Knock him out again. Hold the hand. Just keep holding it. Yeah, that unfair Marshadow let loose play was busted. That's why this uh, Haunch Crow let loose combo is so deadly. He's going to bring in the Ranguru. And it doesn't look like he can do much unless he's playing basic energy. He can special charge. It looks like he's going for a Juniper then. Don't know why else he would have done that. Propagation? Okay, so we got an Ultra Ball then it looks like. No? Huh? I'm confused. No, he just concedes. Ha! Told you, that Zoark matchup, guys. I'm telling you, it's what you want to see. So yeah, Zoark, obviously one of our best matchups for sure. We got the Haunch Crow, we got the Fighting Boys, even Spirit Tomb. Pretty easily one-shot Zoark, thanks to that Hustle Belt combo. So that was a good matchup for us. Um, it doesn't look like my opponent had Garboder in the deck at all, so they couldn't really get out of the Haunch Crow through Garbotoxin. And they also didn't have Trashalanch. So yeah, that Zoark matchup is pretty much our best matchup on paper like pretty much the best match we could ask for so that is showcasing why i like to play against zoark which i like to see because you just basically beat zoark with haunch crow there's nothing they can do about it almost but yeah we'll do another game with the deck
All right, guys, let's go do another game of the deck. Pretty much beating Zorg there, because you put Zorg at the mercy of Honchkrow. There's not much they could do. That's pretty much why Honchkrow and Expanded is pretty good. The only way they could have gotten out of that is through Trash Lanch or Garbo Toxin. So, that's the strength of Spirit Tomb and Honchkrow. But yeah, the Zorg matchup is win winnable, like very winnable, very favored. And uh, let's see what we end up playing against next here. And if we can get an actual another good game with our deck, we'll see what other expanded deck we're up against. There's a lot of green into Zorg on PTCO, so let's we'll see if we run into that maybe. No, we're up against a Grass Psychic Colorless deck. Don't know what to expect here. They might have Garboder. We'll see. We do win the coin flip, which is good. We'll see what we start with here. Spirit Tomb and Buzzmosa. Alright, we're gonna have to start, I think, with Buzzmosa. No, I don't know what they're playing. Yeah, it's probably best to start with Spirit Tomb. Mm. No, you know what? I think we will start with Buzzmosa. I know that's weird, but hear me out. I think it's fine. Uh, we can computer search for Cynthia or and we can even use damage mover to heal this thing. I don't know. I feel like it's fine to start with this thing. Alright, starts with an execute, so I think it is definitely fine. A uh, bit of a doozy of a hand though, don't know how I feel about it. We will computer search here. Get ourselves a oh, yeah, Cynthia's prize. We're gonna have to end my opponent. But yeah, the execute start is fine. They might be playing Archie's Blastoise, actually. Uh, what is bench this thing? This thing can probably be built up over time. What are we looking at here? There's a dark energy. We do have a rainbow energy. We have a let loose for next turn, which is pretty hype. So let's attach that to you, and I will just pass. And then next turn, we'll rainbow energy, start doing jet punch, and uh, take out that execute. This could be a Zoark deck. If it is, we aren't going to doing we aren't going to be doing Haunch Crow quite yet. This might be a this might actually be a Zoark deck. I don't know, like execute. Like you could be playing egg splat. This could also be an Archie's Blastoise deck. But, I didn't see water, so I highly doubt it. Archie's Toys is 50-50. Like, you have the Buzzmosa, which can take out the Wailord cart, but at the same time, it's a bit of a long stretch because your damage isn't very good. Oh, he's playing a Kofferigus deck, it looks like. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we should ditch the Magma Secret base then. Just because Spear Tomb's going to take a lot of damage from Distortion Dory. That's a yikes. This matchup might actually be harder than I anticipated. I think we might actually have to use Honchkrow, just because uh, Kofrigus is weak to dark, but these distortion doors are really bad. So we're going to have to avoid playing down Team Magma Secret Base, because we're not going to ever want to put too much damage on our Spirit Tombs. We might not even need Building Spike, because if he just spams Distortion Door every turn, he has to damage me, which is good, but he can take multiple prizes in one turn. So we're going to have to probably use some of our bulkier guys, like Buzzmosa, like Haunch Crow. We have to avoid our Mars Shadow, because it is weak to Psychic. Ooh, he's going to rope my Spirit Tomb out. That's fine. Well, not really, because I did want to use our Buzzmosa. Hmm. This might not be good. Matchups like this are really tricky. But I didn't expect to run into a Kofferigus Giratina deck, so you can't really blame me. This extra damage is pretty bad if he's going to end up doing a Skyfield at some point. But just a pass. That's fine. So it's possible to knock out the Shaman here if we get the right hand. We can do this. We can... Have to play the Rainbow Energy on it to pull this off. Not a fan of playing the Mars Shadow, but it can find us the goodies. We'll get the Murkrow. Ooh, we did price Haunch Crow. We can always get off the prizes, though, so it's fine. Alright, we'll let loose. No supporter, no hustle belt. That's pretty disheartening. 20 damage off. Well, the good news is if he doesn't do Sky Return, we can just retreat, knock him out with Beast Game, take three prizes. Ah, that Let Loose is so bad. That Let Loose with... That's a huge rip in the chat. Oh my gosh. I could have played down the Black Market, I guess. Are you kidding me, though? I guess we can start attacking with Buzzmosa then, but... Jeez. That Buzzmosa whiff is terrible. 
or not the whiff, sorry, the, the, the hustle belt whiff is terrible. That is so disheartening. Maybe I should have played the black market down. That's pretty, sh that's pretty trash. Well, we're gonna have to go in with the Buzzmosa because we did prize our Haunch Crow. Ooh, the teammates top deck. Saving our butts. Right, I'm gonna take Damage Mover and probably just Juniper. Well, hold on. What am I looking at here? What what else would be good? Ah, we'll take a Via Seeker. We have N in there, right? Yeah. I might need to end him, but I'm I'll, actually, I'm going to do beast games. So you know what? Yeah, we'll get Juniper. We'll just damage mover, put the damage on something like spirit team or not spirit team. Sorry. The, uh, Marsh shadow. I don't really care about that. So we can knock him out jet punch. This is like the one time we're going to get the jet. This is the one time we're going to get the beast game knockout, I think. So we'll just take it. Plus if we get Haunch Crow here, it'll be even better. We can lock him out of dimension valleys. No, that's not Haunch Crow. Is this going to be Haunch Crow? It is. Only problem with using this thing, though, is it gets knocked out. But we might be okay for now. I could maybe float stone in there. I could actually just Guzma Mean Look, too. That's an option. Who's going to counter G? You know, he can't attack me here unless he finds a D-Valley. That could be pretty bad. If he finds a D-Valley, I'm going to have to do another Mean... I might have to do Mean Look. This is gonna be a close game though, for sure. This is gonna be a close. Oh, he just concedes. Oh. Okay. He just conceded the game. All right, well. I didn't think, I, I didn't think that game was going very well. Um, but yeah, that's the strength of the deck, I guess. Uh, that's gonna be Spirit Tomb and Magma's Base. I guess like Spirit Tomb, Haunch Crow Base. So whatever you want to call this deck. Magma's Base, Haunch Crow, Spirit Tomb. Uh, but that is gonna be some expanded Spirit Tomb action, I think. Uh, we got to play what we wanted. We got to show off two of our better matchups. Uh, even though, like, the one game against Zorg was eventful, that is what you're gonna get a lot of the time with this deck. But yeah, this is a pretty fun deck to play. If I were to make any last-minute changes, yeah, I think we could go, like, two ends, two Cynthia's. Maybe add a choice band uh, because well we don't have beast energy or yeah we don't have beast energy so like you can maybe run like a choice band in here because uh, you don't have beast energy at the moment on PDCGO if I had beast energy I would obviously not be playing this well, actually no maybe I would I probably would I probably would cut something for beast energy but yeah I guess what it's banned right now but yeah this is gonna be the spirit tomb deck spirit tomb magma secret base it's a pretty good combo and it might make spirit tomb and expanded a threat. I think we could maybe add like a mime in this deck. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's piece of video, guys. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4,900 subscribers and 5K subscribers. And of course, guys, if you are ever looking for PCGO codes, head over to Carcaver TCG, get them there, use code LDF, and get a 5% discount on your purchase. As always, guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and drop a like. And follow my Twitter down in the description. I keep forgetting to mention that. But yeah, follow my Twitter. And uh, yeah, check out Carcaver TCG. See you guys later. Bye-bye.